Hello and welcome to the triumvirate of triumphant trigulan. There has to be some kind of oppression in there. Oppre oppressive triangles. Oppressive okay, triangles. Yeah, a, that's the one. Oppressive triangle. That's that's what the series is called, man. Come on, it's like the eighteenth episode or something. I am no, pretty pleased. I am pretty pleased to see my creation, Ocean, doing so well. You, like they've got this whole little <laughs> arm of the galaxy that they're spreading oh, into up here. They're, they've just started colonizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I they're see. Just, just it's great. Over there. It's like, I think I should guarantee their independence. Oh, I, think I think you can suck a dick. You realize you have a non aggression pact with them. But... Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I do. Probably because he didn't want to get steamrolled early on or something. Broke it. <laughs> <laughs> that probably happened in the last uh, recording session. Yeah, they're still quite overwhelming to. I'm, uh, I'm selling them. I'm selling oh, them. Oh, yeah, they're superior, superior equivalent. I do this a lot. Like, if there's someone who's fairly weak on the other side of the galaxy, just sell them a research agreement for 30 years and just get a whole bunch of resources off them because they're never going to be a threat to you. And so it doesn't matter if they have the tech. Fair. Like, I just got from the from the uh, Confederation of Nat Faka D, right? I just got 2,000 energy credits. <laughs> Like just, just there you go. It's, there's another two thousand. That's nice to have. Mine ships have been surveying for like the last hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> they do do it for quite a while, don't they? Yeah, I'm just surveying my new territory still. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, six science ships all currently researching. I have one science ship. What is the matter with you? That is yeah. it hurts my soul. Got three. I, I don't have assist research yet, though, so I don't really have much use for more. <clears throat> yeah, all of mine are currently surveying. Surveying, really? Yeah, just going around, going around the whole galaxy on automated survey. Yeah. <laughs> like I just surveyed all of Ocean's Worlds, for example. Is it surveying that gets you the the bonus through <clears throat> missions? That's yes. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Symbol of Unity, it's not that good. All right. I mean, plus 5% happiness. I mean, it's quite good. But I think I might just replace it with the one with the Paradise Dome because that gives food the same amount of Unity and plus 10% happiness. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I was building all these battleship construction yards so I could power out a whole bunch of them. I wish that you could just like upgrade to ships, different science labs. Like, I don't care if it costs a bunch to like get back to that level, but I don't want to have to build a science lab and then remember to come back and then change it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You need to be able to queue stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. What he's saying, unless that wasn't totally clear, is when you first build it, it's a one, one, one. Then you have to pick something and then you can queue up all the upgrades. Yeah. Like, so I have a Biolab 3 here. I have to first replace it as a basic science lab, and then once I have it and it's built, I can click the upgrade button. It sucks. I always Stop. struggle to decide which one I want, and then I'm like, okay, I'm low on this one. I'll build a bunch of these ones. Yeah. And then it turns out that, okay, now I have too many of this type. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what happened to me. I need the mega engineering technology. Or well, the deep station insulation technology. You need to show up. I'm, I'm, I might take one vision anyway. Like I really like being united on that front. But if freaking Chu is going to invent the bloody jump drive, <laughs> I'm going to gonna, I'm gonna need to take Defender of the Galaxy. Can neither confirm nor deny. We all know you're doing it, Chu. <laughs> No, I shouldn't say that. I'll encourage him to do it if he's not doing it. Please Look, don't do we it. We like shiny things, okay? <laughs> shiny is good. Yeah. The fun. other thing is, if you're doing it, like tell us so we can do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no point not doing it if you're doing it. Um, how shall I gene mod my population next? I've oh, only yeah. got one of them. Genetics. Like I have four free points. What am I missing? I've got tropical, continental. Aries. What's the other? What's the other? 
No, I've got arid. And Savannah oh, and Desert. ones like Alpine and... Yeah, but what's the other, what's the other green one? Uh, jungle? Yeah, there's tropical, jungle, ocean, and... Jungle, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, tropical, ocean, and continental. How many scientists do you guys tend to have? Um, uh, I've got three, because they're researching, and then I've got one doing science ship. Yeah, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've got nine at the moment. That's probably... Yeah, all right. What is this? A hypercoms forum. What does that do? Ooh, autonomous fabricators are already here. Nice. 10% energy output on the planet. Cool. <clears throat> Edic. Ooh. I ain't sure, yeah. I'm gonna have robot governors. Why can't I build... Oh, yeah, cool. No one Why can't... Oh, your, um... Your such and such dominance front or whatever is gonna get real mad. About that. Dominance. The one that's all about your species above all else. Oh, the one I that wants superiority vanguard. Yeah. They're not too. They're not too happy because I did some gene modification. Mine are fifty percent of the mood because yeah, the impurity. I've got invasive xeno studies. Surely that should make up for it. I need a an energy credits world. I can make this an energy credits world. Let's do that. Great, minus 15%? That sounds pretty fucking amazing. It's pretty that good, one. yeah. I really like the expansion planner. It's really yep. good. I mean, I'm not really using it to its fullest potential right now just because I don't want to kind of colonize excess stuff. But. Oh, God. I'm now my... 105 months away from the flesh is weak. Nice. 105 months. That's, that's quite the project you embarked on there, Lambert. It's quite obnoxious. Mistakes may have been made. Not going to lie. Uh huh. Building level six space forts on all my planets. Oh no! Don't add this the queue a colony ship. That's the other stupid thing. You can't queue modules to come after a spaceport upgrade if they wouldn't fit before the spaceport upgrade, which is yep. real weird. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of obnoxious. Cheers, rather. Ideal. All right, I've got it down to a hundred months. Move some pops around. I take it's it you're okay. focusing on on that one. Uh, oh. I'm not. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> edicts are painful on my influence, and I'm usually low on influence. Well, you oh, you can create a vassal. Oh, how? Uh, click on your flag thing in the top left. Then click demographics, then create vassal. We do not control any enemy alien homeworlds. I can I can create vassal lag and choose. Hmm. Awesome. I cannot. I wouldn't. I mean, I mean I could do it. Are you settling these planets? Like you're gonna get so mad when other people settle all these planets. You're not Nah nah, it's cool. Yes. I'm, I'm I've settled two, <laughs> but they're they were uncolonized at the time. And oh that's I'm a good build, idea. Yeah. I'm gonna build a couple of um Frontier outposts. How are you purging them? Like you can slow down their deaths if you purge them slower. Oh, they're going to be purged in like twenty years. Yeah, eighteen. You could, um, you could slow it down if you need to. I've got this empty freaking ascension perk burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I need to, I need to spend it. What do I need? Okay, okay. Let's just think about this through. One. Oh, that leaves two empty slots. So Objects if I need, if I want to take Galactic reason. Contender and Defender of the Galaxy, I can't take another perk right now. So maybe I just don't take Galactic Contender. Maybe I say, you know what, we can handle the Fallen Empires. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one. Yeah, but can we? Not now, but hopefully by the time we fight them. 
Are they opposing types? Like, I want to see a war in heaven. Like, I've only ever seen one. Yeah, they are. It's xenophobe versus, uh, versus spiritualist. That's awesome. That gives us a good chance of a war in heaven. I only Xenophobe. see one. Where's, who's the Bottom other? left, top right. The Elamid Ancients and the Buvahond, Buvahondon Protectors. You might not have met the. Are the they ancients. to the right of the Menjetis? Yes. Yeah, I don't see them. Okay. We should we should send out some science ships. Yeah. I I Ign could, ignorant. but me. Ignorant. Yes. <laughs> All right, colonizing another one. Just checking I've built everything right. I've got so many habitable planets inside my borders. I'm just like, eh, eh. <laughs> should I? Because <laughs> my science, it will, it will take hits. Hmm. Yeah, I got a ton of planets I could colonize, but um, stick to my, my plan, I think. It'd be nice tall. if I could, like, merge Basil. <laughs> well, you can. You just annex one. And then, and then release it. Yeah. Give it to the other Oxford one. Oh, they're integrating, integrating them. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> He's going to put them right on my borders. Actually, that'd be good. That might make my Red Legion more pleased with me, because I'll be bordering uh, enemies. Rival. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, probably should go offline on Steam. Yeah. <laughs> you guys complete it. Yeah, no one else can see it though, so it's just distracting. Alright, so Ocean has over 15k fleet power. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem? 17.5, I see. Wow. I just sold Do them all. You my only tech. have 2,500. Whoa. What? You have 2,500k fleet power? Yeah, right now I don't. No, I have 4,300. All right. Yeah, there are increments that it tells you, but your vassal has 5,000. Like, one has 5,000. Yeah. I've been spending a lot of money on upgrades to planets and stuff. I haven't been... Yeah. Trying to get more minerals so that I can... Are they loyal to you? They like me. Which one had the big fleet? Middle one. Oh, no. He's he's a little pissed. Xenophobia is yeah, a big you, issue. Like, he outnumbers you, like, two to one. So, remember... I asked you to put it on speed two. Did you yeah, ever we get around to it? Yes, it we went back to speed one. It was oh. getting a bit hectic, remember? It's no, on speed two right now, though. I just put it back. Yeah. Oh. How's my science? Ooh, wow. This planet is producing 83. Oh, that's right. This place has maxed out physics output. Gosh darn it. I forgot about that. And I started building other stuff but physics here. All right. Replace the buildings. Tear them down. Go home. Biologists, <laughs> you're fired. Only physicists can work here. Nice. I like seeing my sectors uh, building stuff on their own in space. It's fun. Yeah, it's speaking of, often enough. enough. Speaking of, I need to make sure these guys are not building robots. They're not good. Oh, Ocean owns the planet of Sol and it's got primitives. Oh, <laughs> really? Yep. Purge them. Purge them. <laughs> yep, they're people. Quantum destabilize, that's the fire rate one. It's pretty good. Oh no, my Admiral died. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Ship upkeep? Yeah, I'll take you. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds pretty good. Just make sure to check the ages. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you disappoint me in so many ways. Your face disappoints me. It's uh, the wittiest comeback I think I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> RJ, you've not really experienced much of life then, have you? <laughs> I think I'm going to delete my construction ship. One of my construction ship. I only need one. Until I get habitats, at which point, you know, need a lot. Yes, finally! So the do Ministry of for like... Benevolence. I just do invented the hab... Ministry of Benevolence. Cool. Do habitats work like the rest of the mega structures where you can only build one at once? 
No. No, no. You can build as many Thanks as you want. Fucking Christ for that. Once you build them, you then have to colonize them. Mm -hmm. I know. Just kind of weird. Like, it doesn't oh, no, really make sense. Scientist size. Yeah, it's a bit odd, isn't it? You build a habitat for yourself. You <laughs> probably don't need to colonize it. Snap, that looks like a sexy planet. It means you can choose to build them, you know, but not colonize them for a bit, which is fun. And it means, you, but yeah, I feel like it. And you can choose what pops you put on it. So I'm going to design some habitat pops when I mm -hmm. get to that point. Now I'm going to have a special section of my species, which is dedicated to living in space. Which is quite good from roleplay perspectives as well, which is not remotely why I'm doing it, but... You still haven't uh, colonized that sexy planet. Yeah, I've I've got more than enough planets right now. Yeah, but it's a sexy planet. All right, fine. Just to appease you, where is it? Uh, it Tremus. It's uh, to oh, yeah. the south of your main area. The ocean world one there. Plus five percent happiness. It's pretty good. There's people here. I guess I'll just purge them. When I say people. I see that in the loosest possible sense. Oh, it's ocean. I don't think I... Do I have ocean people? <clears throat> no, I don't have any ocean people yet. Ocean's the other green one, right? Mm -hmm. It's ocean green? Yeah. Yep. So I'll just send some people over from this tropical world. They already have 70% habitability, but I just, I just like it matching. If I'm honest. Fleet maneuvers. This may annoy the Vasiri High Kingdom. Oh, carry out the maneuvers as planned. We're definitely going to do that. Annoy these guys on my rival. Hey, this is how World War Three starts. With I'm doing fleet. Applause. I'm doing uh, fleet maneuvers on the border of the blue guys in the far north. I had that in. I think it was a single player game. It, nothing I happens. Yeah, I don't know if it does anything. Okay. Like ever. Chew, are you doing are you doing jump drives? Like it pops up every time I get a new research option. Oh, I I haven't gotten the option yet. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm doing proton torpedoes, regenerative whole tissue. I know you said it's shit, but I had nothing else good. And still doing the flesh is weak for another sixty-eight months. I'm doing Galactic Benevolence, which unlocks the Ministry of Benevolence, which is an empire-wide modifier of plus ten percent governing ethics attraction and minus ten percent minus ten unrest. I no longer have Engos Vapor. <clears throat> what? You would have been trading for it. No, I can see it's in my uh, in my what? sector. In uh, Withrilly, just south of Gox. It's the connecting planet to Gox. Where is Gox? Where is it in relation to Ulm? <laughs> in relation to Ulm? <laughs> yeah. Look at the Gox Empire, and you see there's one. Uh, oh, right. And that's right. Yeah. I see it's it. The, yeah, it's vapor. in with Rilly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I uh, actually you don't have, have it in my strategic good sort of uh, thing. already traded it by mistake. I haven't traded with anyone for a while. Check your. Well, I think I can do that, actually. I don't know who you are, but if you close your borders to me, I'm closing them to you. Go fuck yourself. No, you don't appear to be trading it with everyone. Anyone. I don't understand. Yeah, I know. Have you got a negative on energy credits or something? Maybe that's the Nope. I have six strategic resources right now. It's quite fun. Nope, just one. What, if, what, if, what have you got? I just got terraforming liquids. Oh, yeah, right. Kinetic artillery. Synth leaders? I mean, if I don't invent it, can they, like, not be unhappy about me not having it? <laughs> I'm not sure that's how that works. I don't know. Hey, the fleet maneuvers thing gave me a free admiral. That's pretty cool. cool. 60 months plus 10% fire rate because of those fleet maneuvers. Nice. Pretty nice. All right, you guys, return home. Which is the button for that? B. Of course. <clears throat> Back, I guess. I want to know where these freaking X things go. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Something bad happened. 
Yeah, what? What's going on? Could be real bad. I hit escape. It was a decision. It was like, oh, I was trying to do with my enemies. I think they might be about to declare war on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a three option thing, and I just pressed escape to try and get rid of something else that was open, and it closed it. So, mm -hmm. I think I oh, might. My, my angles papers are back. <laughs> nice. My god, I haven't got hydroponics farm three yet. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> that's, that's seriously inefficient. Oh, I think I've researched the whole the whole galaxy. Yeah, I do have hydroponics three. My, you guys have my farm place. world is making me seventy seven food. Nice. Oh, Gox just closed their borders with me. That must mean our... Oh, he's my rival, so of course. <clears throat> Trade deal from you. Star charts, no. Fuck yourself, Cormancy. Hang on. Oh, it's A general died. Hey, he just, just did the fleet maneuvers thing to replace himself. Hmm. We have detected a pre-space age civilization. Or oceans spreading towards them. I don't envy their position. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I managed to cut off this choke point in the north. Oh, by the way, guys, you know, you can check. Like, I'll know if you start using jump drives because there's a map mode for that. <laughs> oh. There's a map mode which shows what kind of jump drives people are using. You can see that everyone is on high plane except the Fallen Empires who are on side drives. Which are like the souped up. But didn't drives. we lock the game to only yep. using hyperlanes? Yeah. Yep. yep. And the Fallen Empires are like, nope. I don't mind the Fallen Empires being nope, but nobody else should be able to say nope. Well, they can only say nope by making jump drives. Yeah, it locks it. shouldn't be able to make it. Is what to make jump drives? Well, yeah. it should be another option, like enable jump drives, yes or no. You because I would want to have the ones all the time. Oh, Ooh, someone embraces. Is this you? It is. Yeah, it's no, me. No, it's not me. It's, not... <clears throat> it's me. Yeah, I'm still 50 months away. Word is leaking. Sorry, you probably have a more exciting pop-up. Why don't you read it? Uh, the cybernetic con conversion process has been completed. All of our citizens have now been equipped with neural implants and basic cybernetic suite. The infrastructure is all s also in place to gradually modify any of the new citizens that are born within our nation so that they can experience all the benefits and technology of an from an early age. Henceforth, our species shall be known as the Ultra Bashir. Nice. Hmm? And we cool. got one saying, like, they and... have foolishly <laughs> taken yeah. this step. Yeah. Did you just... Were you just at war? Oh, uh, someone with the same flag symbol as you. Lambert. Oh. Who's got the same flag as... Oh, the Menjeti? Fuck someone, you, Menjeti. Someone that just signed a peace deal with the... Uh, <clears throat> oh, I've discovered Chemical Bliss. Yeah, that's, that's been that. around for a while. Don't really. I might it. as well. I might as well just nerve staple them. To be honest, <laughs> like if you're <laughs> gonna do that. Right. Where's some of my good food? I guess I can make this agri world. I'm gonna start labeling them. A yeah, for agri. That's gonna confuse me. <laughs> I've got Ohm Agri, Nixahel Energy, Gauzor Research, Trappist Mine, and Kraz Research. There better be another planet here. Well, this is a rubbish system. Yeah, there is. Okay. What was this going to be? It's going to be energy. It's got a plus 10% minerals modifier. Okay, not going to be energy. <laughs> <clears throat> Unemployment? Unemployment? Unacceptable. You require additional pylons. Minerals. <laughs> Need more gold in that case. No, no like there's, there's, there's an actual line in the game. You need more minerals. In which game? Like, Starcraft. I switched to Warcraft 3. <laughs> Starcraft, man. <laughs> I went man. to need more gold. I know if I switched after it was no longer pylons. <laughs> do I squash the science for better mineral gains? I think I do. I guess I make this one. E for energy or P for power? I think I'll go with E. So you name them. I just give, I just put 
like little letters in brackets after the name. Hmm? I'm not lazy. <clears throat> Science. Construction complete. Another brackets physics, I think. Oh yeah, the episode ran over ages ago, by the way. So yeah. <laughs> oh, Go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right so thank you very much for watching the uh triangle twisted trader <sighs> i was about to say i was about to say i really enjoy this series that's why it's running over and i like to oh you cut out uh, around right. i'm oh, not dicking around you're just being <laughs> anal <laughs> bye bye guys later